What am I doing? Oh my god! Oh my gosh, it's Christmas! That's, you know, because it's snowing! Christmas time is here. There's nothing to fear. Actually, some say Christmas time is the scariest time of the year. No one says that. No one's ever said it. Hey, yo, it's me, Yabin. Welcome to Three Scary Christmas Games. I'm so glad I could bless... Please help me. My child has just figured out where I am. I got Christmas content for you to watch, baby. My gift to you. All right, let's check out these games. I think they're all gonna <laughs> suck. <laughs> Scary Christmas game number one. A Christmas nightmare. <laughs> got kind of a tradition of doing the scary Christmas games every year. This time I found three. Is that supposed to be blood in the bed or is it the bedspread? I literally can't tell. Whoa. Uh Honey, it's Christmas. Do they have to be so loud? I literally can't. Let me turn it up. I guess I can hear it. You're gonna go in there? Are we going in there? Hey, keep it down! If you leave your door open, though, you're kind of asking for it. 402. Hey, neighbor. This is Kara for 401. I know you like to spend Christmas Eve on your own, usually. Okay, why are you paying so much attention to me? But if you wanted company, my family and I have a free seat at our table. Maybe we'll see you. Frick off, Carol. Let me go in my apartment. Go in. I'm not going to... To your stupid Christmas Carol. Get it? Christmas Carol, your entire life is a joke. Your parents named you something stupid because they hated you. I feel like I reckon, hold on, I feel like I recognize this apartment layout. I think I've seen this in another Unity game. Oh, I've got sprints. Oh, epic. All I need now is a jump button. Gosh dang it. All right, we're going to bed, I guess. Someone's at the door. It better not be any carolers. Anyways, let me grab the shotgun from the tr the hologram of a cupboard that I keep. Carol? This better not be no silly jump scare, I tell you. Strange, no one's there. Also, the lights are out. What was that? The bedroom. What do you mean, what was that? The, the game stopped. Okay, I'm opening the door. Please don't crash. Strange. Nobody there. My bedroom door closed. Hey, Carol? Is that you? Goofing around in there? I have a, I have a Glock 23 in this present right here. I'm about to unwrap it on your ass. All right, open the... Oh my gosh, someone gave me one of those cool, awesome rugs. My childhood bedroom. Oh, that is creepy. Oh my gosh, yo! No, 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 no. Correct. Don't bother trying to run. I've locked the- Okay, well then I'll give a, you a handshake. Get me up, homie. But you should be used to that already. Oh, you don't have to bring my home life into it, sir. All those nights spent locked in here, cowering under the sheets. How do you know you that? Because I was there. I've always been, and will forever be. I am your past, the inescapable and insidious truth of who you are. I remember each and every jump on his fingers Christmas we would spend together, just us. No parents to keep us company. No one to love us. Speaking of which, Mommy and Daddy left us a little present, but I've hidden it. Why don't you try and find it? I'll tell you when you're close. I'm already hot? Cold. Hot? Is it under here? Is it in the tree? Hot? Press E to move pillow. Oh, cool! Oh, don't grab me with that. I want to see it. Give me the gift. Hold on. So oh, wait, 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 wait. He left. Wait, wait, wait. He left. I don't like it when they leave. Ah! It's just an action figure. It didn't even make a sound effect. It got me. Put it right here. All right. Thank you, Smeagol, for the... That was the game. Chimney Prowler. Christmas Horror. With a twist. What's the twist? Maybe we're Twas Santa? The night before Christmas and Santa's a wreck. How to live in a world so politically correct. His workers no longer would answer to elves. Vertically challenged, they were calling themselves. Oh, everything's so politically correct. I get it. Noise. Nothing for girls or just for the boys. Nothing that claimed to be gender specific. Nothing that's warlike or non-Pacific. 
Santa grew That's kind of where we're heading there. Moans and made him quite angry. I'll have you know. He tried to be merry, tried to be gay, but you've got to be careful with that word today. True. His sack was quite empty, limp to the ground. Damn. Nothing fully acceptable was to be found. So two friends from across the seas, who met on the internet, wanted to see. If they could catch Santa and fill him with glee, but little did they know they'd need more than a tree. For Santa was pissed, hardening his heart entirely. Hey, Aaron. Hey. Do you think that we will, like, actually see him? Y'all went to the North no Pole? One's ever seen him before. His voice but is so much louder than hers. Is the night. Your voice hurts my ears, Aaron. We need to get a radio tracker. And these people, I guess they went to the North Pole. Is this a Santa mobile? Dang, bro, got the Tesla truck. I guess these two people were like, we're gonna go get Santa. We're gonna get, we're gonna go find him. And then we will, uh, what is this? Was that it? Put, put together, place the radio. I don't even know what I'm freaking doing. Did you break and enter to Santa's workshop is my question. Okay, all my equipment is up. How's it going up there? He's dead. Yeah, I'll get up here. Oh, oh. my God. Your roof is atrocious. Oh, it's my house? Christ. Is that a dead bird? It's my house? A oh. dead bird. Um, I'm gonna go make the cookies now. Wait, so we're leaving. Okay, so never mind. We didn't. Oh, what is this? We're not allowed to go up there. Okay. We didn't go to the, to the North Pole. I made that up. That was a lie. Where's the oven? You don't have one oven. Can I at least make a freaking a pizza roll? You got a microwave, ma'am? Where would I be without a cookie? Where would I be? Look, there's some bottles. This is clearly the kitchen, right? Oh, oh, I prepared a cookie. Just one. Of course. Oh, oh, I'm. Oh, I see. A str What the freak was that? Oh, bollocks. My damn shoe fell off. Your shoe fell off okay, the roof? Aaron, we are 5,000 miles from landing. What? But. There is this weird interference. I have so many questions. Okay, so we have the fireplace. We put out the cookie. Are we gonna drug him? Special milk? We're drugging Santa? Oh, it's not. Okay, never mind. It's milk. Cool. And then whiskey. You're welcome, Santa. Sprinkle a nutmeg. Got that special milk. Oh, wow! A shooting star! Can you pay oh, attention, wait. please? No, never mind. It's just a plane. 1500. But it's getting closer. I hear the beeping. Sound is still there. It almost sounds like we're in a horror game. Clapping. I was like baldy. I swear, if Santa comes out and he's baldy, I'm gonna be pissed. All right, here's your alcoholic drink, Santa. You're hey, welcome. Scruncho. Hey, Aaron. Scruncho. Fifty. Fifty Do miles from anything? landing. No. <laughs> what is he laughing about? You've got some interesting neighbors. What are we doing? We didn't even finish that conversation, just... He's here! Oh my god! Scruncho! Ah! Oh! My shoe! This feels so confusing. It's Santa! Uh, there he goes! There he's- he's smaller than expected. Hey, buddy! <laughs> There's your cookie and your alcohol. Someone's been naughty. Me? Really? Not sleeping. What is this? Ugly cookie. It's a strawberry crumble. Where are you? She don't think he's gonna hear this loud freaking radio. I'm clapping. It's in the house now. Santa's here to clap some cheeks, bro. I don't know what the hell this thing is. Is he here? The stairs are right here. You want me to go up the stairs? Nope. Um, this is when you leave. If you've been bad for two or three weeks, Santa has come to clap your cheeks. Go up the stairs with a feeling of dread. If you're lucky, you won't end up dead. Aaron, the clapping is getting louder. I can barely hear oh God. it. God. It all makes sense. No, it doesn't. It's the clap of Santa's <laughs> ass cheeks. <laughs> is it though is it really why can't i sprint now this seems like a great time her house is just empty her house has nothing in it santa 
Oh no, it's time to get clapped. Santa? He's not here. Of course he's not. Oh no. Of course he's not. Hide. Santa? He knows that we've been naughty. He knows. Of course he knows. He has a list and he literally checks it two times. There's no way he lets us leave. It's so dark. Santa? We need to leave, right? I'm listening for the clapping. What is this? There's blood. Oh, it's Aaron. Or is that Santa? No, that's Aaron. Oh, yeah. God. Aaron! He got clapped. Oh, my gosh. They put a Christmas tree through his head. Oh, man. He had the Yeezys on, though. That's a loss. Okay. Find the car key, which is upstairs, which we just came from. You got to be careful and listen for the clap of Santa's butt cheeks. Hold on. Wow. This is a dark hallway. For real, though. <gasps> I already know I already see the jump scare no I already see it that sucks I saw it early is that Rudolph Rudolph what the frick dude I don't want to touch that I'm gonna have to go all the way around yep okay then this is how you get got he's manipulating us and oh! He's gonna put coal in my hole! Oh no! Can I get out? Can I get by? Can I get by? Yes! See you, stupid! Get in the car, I'm gone. I'm so glad this is a game I'm allowed to. Let me catch one look at him, hold on. Bye, Santa. Wait, this isn't the. That's not the. Ah! He kissed me! Santa kissed me. Okay, when you run down the stairs, you come out and you take a left. Okay. We're gonna. Leave the stairs and take a left. This man said, I'm gonna put some coal in your hole. <laughs> Guys, this game is stupid. I like it. All right. We come out the, we come out here, we take a left. We take a left. I'm gonna get in the car, get in the car. I'm in the car. I'm driving. Are you sure? This thing looks like the best. They really had some ambitious game design on here. They're like, we're going to go open world with the vehicle. Take that, Halo Infinite. This car sucks. This car is terrible. It's very quiet, though. I'm sure it gets great gas mileage. Guys, this game sucks. And I still, I still really like it for some reason. Oh, look, we did it. Go, Tesla truck. Santa's chasing. <laughs> He's chasing. I don't know. Santa, no. Santa, for real, stop. Cut it out. Look, um, it's fine. Oh my god, I did a barrel roll. <laughs> this is impossible. This game is impossible. He's got me. He got me. He's gonna, She's trying to spin me. He's trying to push me off the road. But I have to take it easy because if I don't, he flip. The game, the whole, the car just flips. If you, oh, no, no, no. Okay, we're good. No! I'm not sure how Santa's reindeer are taking these curves. He's got- Oh, he's, he's here. How am I supposed to go fast without dying? He's spinning me out, dude! He's got me. Ah! I know where other- I know where other naughty people live. I'll give you their addresses, Santa. You can take out your anger on them. I know. I'm angry, too. I'm an angry person, too. Santa's upset with the political correctness of the world. He's over it. Okay, we have to be very- The physics, they're not very forgiving. Where's the- Maybe this is the time. Did I make it? It's a straightaway. I don't trust it at all. Oh, I really don't want to flip. Don't. Don't you dare. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hit the gas. Hit the gas. Hit the gas. Hit the gas. Turn the wheel, woman. Ugh. Oh, we freaked up now because we killed Rudolph. The Christmas Incident. This is a five minute long Christmas themed horror game. It's not that I really thought the last one was so bad. It's, it's goofy, you know what I mean? It wasn't supposed to be like freaking triple A. 
I just punched my computer. That was my bad. I was trying to hit a bug. Get out of here. What are you doing? There I was. On the, in my 32-bit landscape. I called it home. I immediately tried to break the game by going over this hill. How do you even know where you are supposed to go? I feel like this ain't it, though. Yep, invisible wall. They thought of everything! There are at least three blue pixels over there, Captain. I think that's where we're supposed to go. Who are we? Who am I? You know? A guy without a jump button, I'll tell you that much. We need to make our own story. My name was Pedro, and I like to go for walks. Every Thursday, I would go for long walks in the hills to feel the invisible walls. But one day, I was walking and I find flashlight. I said to myself, that is very strange. I have never once seen a, a present of a flashlight. Anyways, I should probably push onward and stop doing this stereotypical voice before I get someone in trouble. I try to take little shortcut. I find house. Pedro thinks to himself, this is very strange. I have walked this way every Thursday for 13 years. Not once did I see this place. Pedro thinks to himself, there's a 25% chance I might be in a horror game. Pedro decides he's going to take the chance. He wanted to go on the porch, but it was levitating in the snow. But anyways, he walked on it. Press E. Okay. Wow, said Pedro. That's a pretty big room. Someone was sitting here and admiring themselves. Americans are so vain, Pedro said to himself. The doors, they open. And Pedro walks in. That is the smallest Christmas tree I have ever seen, said Pedro. He knew he should stop doing what he was doing by talking like this, but somehow he felt stuck, stuck in this voice. The only way out of this voice for sure is to be scared out of it. Uh oh, said Pedro. The people sounds was a radio. It was not real. Anyways, Pedro decided to raid the fridge and look for foods. What is this? <gasps> Something has happened here, said Pedro. There is a knife on the counter and someone was cutting tomatoes. I hope they are making spaghetti. Pedro <laughs> loves spaghetti. Anyways, he said, back to the other part of the house. I need to see about this elevator. Anyways, Pedro wanted to push onward. Can you go in this room? He did it. Oh, it's the bathroom. You can check out your cheeks while you are pooping. Pedro was starting to feel like this game is not going to be any more better than the other ones he had just played. I have not had one scary time, said Pedro. And that's all I wanted from being stuck in a scary game. What is this, said Pedro. A key. Very nice. Pedro rounded the corner. Blue book he found. The famous art. The light was flickering. Pedro made a mental note to change the light bulb, even though he did not live here. Pedro unlocked the door and walked in. Oh, Dios mio, said Pedro. There is a present waiting for you under the Christmas tree. For some reason, Pedro didn't take any of the many weapons he found. Pedro was terrified. He looked around quickly and found a, a couple of feet with a tag, but for some reason he could not touch anything. What is this, said Pedro? We may never know. Pedro decided he better go check the Christmas tree against his better judgment. Oh, no said Pedro. That's a scary Santa person. I'm going back in here. <laughs> Pedro locked himself in this cage because it's the only place he could for sure be safe. <sighs> okay, said Pedro. It's time to face my fear of Santa. Hello, Santa. Santa slid sideways. He could only do that on a skateboard, thought Pedro. I didn't know he was a skateboarder. Ground floor, said Pedro. I could probably just leave, but... No. Somehow it doesn't feel right. I better do exactly what the killer told me to do and look under the Christmas tree. Maybe it's a gun or something I can use. <laughs> it's a scary doll from Toy Story. The one with the spider legs. Somebody was making a pretty fire beat on the door. Pedro decided to go answer it. Wait. This is not... Maybe it was upstairs. I'm confused. Pedro still, for some reason, not leaving. Oh no, this elevator took me a different area. 
Oh my gosh, this spaghetti sauce situation has gotten out of control. I better just keep going this way instead of leaving or calling the police on my cell phone. There was blood that way, but this way, I'm feeling compelled. I'm going to be checking on my corners. If there's a blood, it could be a distraction. We had checked quickly and came back. There was nothing. What about here? It's just a jump scare noise with a spaghetti sauce pattern. I really hope this isn't a chase scene, thought Pedro, because I forgot to install my sprint button before I left my home. Anyways, Pedro decided to check the route that he has skipped. Pedro heard it low, an 8-bit person screaming in his left ear. She was crying. Pedro thought to himself, this is probably just a sound effect and nothing actually bad, but it's making me very scared. It feels like he's getting closer. Dios mio, what is wrong with that lady? She sounded like she needed help, or at very least, a tissue, a spaghetti sauce. The trail had gone cold. Pedro thought to himself, I would not mind eating cold spaghetti. I really would not. But, unfortunately, he saw more spaghetti sauce. And... Someone was whispering to Pedro from far, far away. Do I go with the spaghetti sauce? Or do I go off on my own? Pedro thought to himself, The spaghetti sauce has never led me wrong. And it's not going to this time. Let me turn the corner and check. The spaghetti sauce stopped. Never mind, there it is. Pedro was very, very terrified to open this door, but he decided to go for it. Ah! Pedro, jump scared to death. That was the worst Christmas I ever had. Did I really just talk like that for the entire game? Don't mind me, I'm just questioning everything. All right. Hey, it was the first annual three scary Christmas games. Um, sorry about doing that voice the whole game. I don't know, it got stuck in my head. The link to all three of these right here will be in the description if you wanna check them out. Uh, they all seem like they were made pretty quick for like a game jam or a, uh, like a student project or whatever. So I'm obviously just joking with all my feedback. I didn't expect AAA titles here. Thank you. For watching this video, I hope you had a great Christmas. Turn this off, throw your phone down, and go hang out with your family. Hug someone's neck. They need it. I know it's annoying when you're a kid to feel like that, but they do love you, and they want you to hug them, so just do it, okay? Thank you. All right, guys, I got to get out of here. I love each and every one of you so very much. I hope you're having the best Christmas ever. Patreon supporters, thank you for the financial support, and thank you to you, just the regular average viewer, for clicking on this. I appreciate you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you keep that chin up, work hard, and believe in yourselves. And as always, have a bye five! Pedro was worried this video was not very good.